Hi everyone, Nick Shaheen here, uh, Benzinga, and uh, MarketFi, Create Income with Option Spreads, uh, recapping the week ending 328 and uh, forecasting the coming week ending April 4th. was a tough week, uh, but it ended on a good note. That's the summary of the week, and, uh, essentially. Uh, the tough part about it was that uh, we had a clear inverse relationship between the yen um, and uh, driving the markets down. You can see it tick for tick. Uh, what took the beating was the 10-year along with the market. And if you lay them on top of each other, you'll see that very clearly. Every spike in the yen took us down. Uh, recapping the week, let's see here. This was um, 324 right here. And you can see the slide right there. Um, and it took down everybody across the board. Here I have the uh, SVX basically here, the cash got Apple, Google, I'm looking at the LinkedIn here and the NASDAQ and the small caps. Uh, Apple had uh, some life into it during the week. First of all, it held up pretty well. Uh, support levels are clear. Uh, I've been saying that for a few weeks now. And uh, although I also said that it needs a headline to race uh, up, and indeed it got the headline about some new service, uh, which turned out to be may or may not happen anyway so it's still not there the headline was kind of a fake out and I said you know 550 will be a wall and indeed it went to 549 on the uh, 26th and then uh, failed from there however it came back to where the level it was so it did hold up well in falling markets so it's like the piggy bank everybody hides their money in there and then when the market rips they tend to take some money out of it unless we get another headline so I am um, I will. I will. Temp I'll be tempted uh, to do credit put spreads here because it's holding up well. But I need a reason for it to run, and I don't want to bank on the reason. So I'll bank on the fact that it's going to hold up. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, Google took a beating. There's no doubt about it. It's undeserved. Uh, they treated it like it was a uh, momentum stock, like Tesla. They sold it just as hard. Uh, so I picked up some long uh, calls, and I will do more next week. Uh, and uh, I did uh, spreads, so I can hedge my bet, and uh, I can also reverse the spread should I see it turn down even more. However, it does split into two different tickers, uh, so keep that in mind and play accordingly. Um, I like the company. It prints money. It got sold off, you know, 2% a day, 1%, 1.5% 1, 1 in 10 minutes. And... Uh, it didn't lose any, um, you know, it still can make the same money it, it made, you know, two weeks ago. Uh, taper or no taper, uh, easing or no easing, uh, tightening or no tightening. It doesn't matter. It's still going to print the same money. And if China has a tizzy, it's not even in China technically. So it's, it's an undeserved sell on Google there. So we'll start nibbling on the long side there. Uh, small caps, uh, they held up pretty well given how fast they've run. Um, everything held up pretty well. We're still close to the highs. I mean, it, it felt very negative. Uh, the, everything was going to bears. If this was a basketball game, and everything going one way, one the way of one team, and the, the game was close, I guarantee you the other team is going to win the game. Because if everything's going your way and you can't put the game away, you're going to end up losing. So next week, with the absence of headlines, I'm optimistic. So that's the summary. Tough week, ended on a good note, and next week may be positive with the absence of negative headlines. LinkedIn, um, I liked it. I made some money on it on Friday. I, um, on Thursday night, I took uh, call spreads, and on Friday, it ran up. I sold them and then went back down. I cashed in um, about 50%. Anyway, it was a nice, nice win really quickly. I just had to cash it in. We didn't have a lot of chances to cash it in. And I say that, not to brag, but to point out the fact that I wasn't the only one. So if you were in on Thursday long, and you came into Friday, and you had a good pop, and you haven't had the chance to book profits all week long, what are you going to do? You're going to book profits. And that's why we had the swoon in the middle of the day. Not because it was not the typical swoon from the, the, uh, before, the days before. It did not come with a spike in the end. The yen stayed depressed. It did not come with a TLT. That one stayed also depressed. So um, it, it, it's the fact that uh, we it wasn't the same makeup. It wasn't the same makeup. 
the, the drop was based on people taking profits from early pops and also coinciding with the time where CNBC was uh, um, reporting on uh, supposedly Russian build up, Russian troops building up on the Ukraine border. I don't, I didn't see anywhere. I, I went online. I couldn't find anything. I found one article that was uh, actually saying that uh, Russia was returning military uh, equipment, tanks and arms to Ukraine that was left by the Ukrainians in Crimea. So if he was waging war on Ukraine, why on earth would he give them their weapons back before the war? So it doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't see that happening. I wrote several articles about the fact that no one has any interest. No one gains from this war. Absolutely no one. The Russians lose. Uh, the West will lose more than the Russians. They have no leverage because the Russians provide a lot of fuel for a lot of countries. Most importantly is Germany. Germany will not side against Russia because they depend on it economically. Uh, same uh, with Ukraine. Uh, they can't afford, nor are they up to fighting Russia. Uh, they get all of their gas from Russia, and they are outmatched. And the United States and the, the IMF does not have enough leverage, or the global of the West does not have enough leverage by with these sanctions because we they can impose harsher sanctions. All these oil companies have billions of dollars of assets over there, and you can I can guess that uh, the lobbyists from these oil companies are in Washington saying, please do not escalate, de-escalate, de-escalate. Speaking of that. Late Friday, we get a headline from CNBC as well that uh, Obama and Putin spoke on the phone. In fact, I think it was Putin that called Obama and they spoke and they agreed on de-escalation verbally and nothing uh, with arms. So that's really good news from that front. And that's why I said a tough week ended on a good note because the last day slide was just profit taking and headline um, not um, fundamental technical um, pair trade, inverse pair trade between the yen and the market. So really encouraging there. Monday morning we'll be telling, of course. I just want the weekend to go without any headlines so we can go back to trading a little bit of fundamentals. And we have some uh, potentially good numbers to come out next week uh, on the U.S. economics front. So having said all of that, uh, this coming week my plan will be to uh, do the same as this week, what I tried to do, it was a little tough this week, which is um, catch a few oversold quality names. I mentioned Google already. Um, I mentioned Apple. Google, I'll pick up some calls or call spreads or buy it if uh, you have that kind of um, account going. Or uh, on the Apple, I'll, I'm going to do some credit put spreads. I'm going to give myself some time so I don't get jammed up. Um, I may do even some iron condors because I don't expect a headline in Apple, and but I'll be click, quick on turning off the credit call side of it. Uh, LinkedIn, I, I did scalp some profits and I scaled back in with a few longs on the debit call spreads to participate on a run-up, and I may build on that this week if I see some strength. Um, so I'm going to find some good names, so if you're watching some good names, we can do that. So let's run a through a few names to see, uh, some of which I haven't had the chance to go over. So if we look at the uh, SPX and what happened here, um, it's it's still, I mean, these are really high levels and with all the negative, um, you know, talks and the world coming to an end, yet we're still here. If the world was coming to an end, we won't be here. We will be much lower than here. The NASDAQ took a beating, but that's because it brought us up here and now it's recovered, I mean, it retraced. Um, the, the trend is, st I, I still like this, this trend. Um, the, the small caps last year, they did this trend all year long. We have a good channel going. It's kind of being tested, but with the absence of new negative headlines, we might still have a chance to regain some strength here. I spoke about Apple. I still like it. It's kind of stuck in a rut right here, um, but it's, it's, it's being tested several times and it's defended the 500 level vigorously. So if you want a sleeper of a trade, I would do credit put spreads under well under 500, long dated, and sleep. And don't even watch it, uh, except sporadically. Amazon, um, I've had a very detailed write-up on it. This is the box I created where it's a contested area where bulls and bears have been fighting for a while now. It has a um, head and shoulder pattern, which will bring it down to 
this level and lower. When it was up here, I said, I want to see how it's going to break out, and it did break out from this corner, but then it failed quickly along with the rest of the market. And it had, um, I said, it, 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 this could bring it down just out of the box, and if it does, it, from the 350s, it's going to quickly come down to the 320 area. It came pretty darn close, right? So now, if the markets stabilize, uh, it may be a good pickup, even though it shows a head and shoulders. I haven't picked it up yet. Um, I want some confirmation. Same with Baidu, although Baidu you know, moves pretty quickly, it got demolished, absolutely demolished. And it was so violent within the days, it had major, look at the candles, major swings. It ended up closing doji-ish, meaning that they closed it almost exactly where they opened it, but the swings were violent. So if you were a day trader, you could have um, either made or lost a lot of money in one day. Uh, I have not looked at the financials. This is BlackRock. Um, held up pretty well. Wow, that's pretty surprising. I was uh, concentrating on MasterCard and Visa, so uh, let me go to that. I wanted to jump in, but then I started seeing headlines, and I really don't know what's going on with the rates and all of that, so I stepped out. Even though I like the companies, I mean, I can't imagine they're going to lose money, so they're going to crank out the cash. But meanwhile, I really don't know at what level and what margins, given that there are lawsuits, and I just, uh, you know, I think Walmart is suing visa so i don't want to touch him right now headline 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 so i'd rather sit back and watch the fight happen i think buffalo has some pretty wild week coming so uh, it had an incredible uh, day yesterday but uh, it may be driven by basketball or i think they are, they, they have uh, a conference call next week or, or an event so and an event so i i'm I would rather stay out. If anything, I'll pick a lotto ticket and I'll pick it on the upside because if I'm optimistic, the market it should run up. CF has had a lot of uh, CF Industries has had uh, some pretty interesting moves, so I have not traded it in a while. Again, because I don't understand what's going on. CMG broke out to incredible highs and then in three days had uh, was demolished. So now back to the same snoozy level. I've been saying. Zzz well, 500 bucks and, and more, but still, it's stuck up there. Um, talk about Momo stocks, that is one, right? CRM, I've been saying caution, 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 and I continue to say caution. Um, you know, a previous Wall Street darling, uh, I, need it, I, I need to see that they still believe in it and they haven't lost uh, the mojo. So uh, maybe I'll wait a little bit to see what's going on there. It's a fast mover. If the markets drop, they're going to drop it as long as well. Um, this one, I'm not going to cover it. <laughs> Equinix uh, is just, I, anyway, it's not the time for it. FDX tells me a little bit about the state of the business, and um, it, it's, I, I think that w with, with this rise, I would be scared to go long right here. Even though the company is solid, good management, and, it, and the trend line going here, was broken but these are extending the circumstances where it wasn't a normal drop for the market wide so it's not very concerning on its own but having seen this i mean this happened in just four or five days six days um uh, you know i'm cautious i'm not in google i mentioned um you know even though it's a zillion dollars a share but it's not outrageously expensive um, because they actually bring in <laughs> the money to back up and I'm looking at previous drops. Uh, you see these green bars. They're not scientific. I just drew them by hand, basically. And uh, you, this one is really close to that one in shape. Uh, you can see it kind of like a, uh, uh, a triangle and a uh, right angle, triangle right here. And it's very similar and almost equal in size. So it would make sense that it would support my optimism for Google. Here's another one, same kind of shape, although uh, maybe less of a, a, a less steepness in this drop but still the length is about the same uh longer in duration but about the same length bar and if you can imagine this is about the same and then it broke out so i am optimistic for google unless the markets completely fall apart uh, goldman sachs i was so tempted i was so tempted but you know if you look at it uh, head and shoulder ish looking here and if i look at you know what the, this is two years by the way what scares me about Go, uh, goldman is that this is a contested level they see that big red line it's not scientific again it's hand drawn but it you know big fight going on here um I, i'm not losing anything by waiting that's what i'm saying so i'm waiting 
IBM, I, you know, <laughs> had one nice day, and uh, I, I just don't understand these candles. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see. Uh, one year, one year. There we go. That is too violent of a chart for a company as solid as IBM, uh, which I don't understand. So, uh, nice uptrend here, uh, fake out, but um, let's see what happens this week. I don't like it technically, so I'm out. Uh, ISRG, I've been out for a while, and um, headline risk with the lawsuits and lawyers, and I've been reading again in the news, so I'm out. LinkedIn, I mentioned, I wanted to pick it up under 180, and I had the chance, except uh, you know everybody was like, uh, touting the end of the world so I chickened out for a little bit and I said you know what I'm going in I went in with a, a debit call spread so bullish position on Thursday and I cashed out of it on Friday morning uh, for about 50 percent um, of maximum dollars at risk uh, so it was a nice win I left a lot of money on the table had it continued running up but it turned out that I sold it almost at the time not quite I missed about five or six pennies but um, I cashed in and then guess what it dropped red and then I reloaded when it dropped red because I said you know what nothing has changed in my opinion since yesterday I just liked it uh, to cash in some profits uh, so I re-picked it up and I'm gonna probably add to it this is a good line of defense and if on panic it held it then it even makes it stronger uh, Lulu, oh boy, um, finally uh, they had uh, a, a negative reaction initially on the earnings and, uh, and then uh, recovered and uh, <laughs> understatement as recovered. So it looks like they're building back up, but I'm out. Um, management needs to prove itself. We already covered MasterCard, Netflix. It had a shade of goodness until we had the uh, Apple, uh, the news that brought up Apple that spiked up Apple uh, uh, and uh, actually no what was it oh yeah 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 <laughs> Amazon uh, the news that uh, there was news a couple days ago that it, it's gonna provide a free streaming and then uh, Amazon said no nope, no free streaming yet the stock didn't recover so that's not very good um, losses mojo even before the debacle in the markets it was it had a this part right here right there that was a sell chug is what I call chug 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 selling strong selling consistent selling that's somebody major changing their mind on it so um, I'm out until I see some you know I had friends of mine that tried to pick up some uh, credit put spreads here good luck if anything I wouldn't risk anything closer than here that would be a level maybe around 320 that I would dare place a credit put spread and even then I would have to you know be quick on the trigger Priceline was a heartbreaker. Again, they sold it off uh, like a Momo. It is a momentum stock, but it's a momentum stock that actually makes money. So um, I still like it, dare I say, uh, <laughs> mid to long term, just like I like Google. So if I'm willing to buy Google, I'm willing to buy Priceline. Uh, hopefully Monday will provide some clarity. Panera, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know why I keep this on my, maybe it's like a bad accident. I just can't stop looking. Um, this is, look at this candle right here. And you say it's once in a lifetime. No, how about twice? Not in a lifetime, twice in a year. The, the, whoopsies. The drops are incredible for, you know, it's just, you know, <laughs> hold on to your hats and you need a, uh, um, a neck brace for that. So I'm not trading it. Ralph Lauren. I did not check on it. Yeah, held up okay on, on that level. But it's still just like Panera. What's going on with these? Uh, um, anyway, let's ba look back at the SPY. The, 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 we started with it, the SPX, same, same thing. I still like the pattern. I mean, even though we're going from lower highs, but we're holding pretty strong. And not that we're holding strong. We're holding strong on some strong negative headline or potential or fears. I mean, we're talking war. That is as serious as a headline as you can get um, because it has the potential, if it involves everybody, it's, it's got the potential to be a nasty one. Okay, usually I don't like these when, um, you know, we start coming down, but here we had a lower highs, I mean, higher lows, and now we had a few days of lower highs, so now it's squeezed to pop somehow. So um, it uh, it'll be interesting to see how this thing resolves itself. But again, next week I'm optimistic, uh, especially if we have a, uh, a quiet weekend with no headlines. Uh, I believe that Monday should be a good day, and uh, from there you just stick with the game plan. 
I appreciate your time, and this is uh, Nick Shaheen again at Benzinga, MarketFi.com.